Today in the Euro Sermon, and the picture will come up here beside me, I have bought a pair of wiggly eyes. Let's open them and see what they are. Oh, it's going to make it hard for me today. Don't recommend this. I'm going to have to use the teeth. No, let's see if we can find. They never say. It should be a new thing that says don't work with children, animals, or wiggly eyes. I don't know how they seal these up. Hold on. Here we go. Have we got it? Yes, we've got it. Now, wiggly eyes, they can say, can make anything comical, can't it? So I wonder if I was to put in these wiggly eyes... What it would be like for my sermon. Do you think that improves me any? There might be some in my house would say it improves me 100%. But wiggly eyes. If you stick them on something. Maybe they might bring a smile to your face. Or if you use them for a craft. Maybe you're drawing a face and you put the wiggly eyes on. Maybe it makes them a little bit more lifelike, although I'm not sure who has wiggly eyes like this. You can uh, send me a message if you can think of uh, ways that you could use wiggly eyes. But what might this teach us about God? What might this teach us about the theme of our service? Well, when I saw these wiggly eyes, I was thinking about eyes. And obviously one of the roles of an eye is to look, is to see, is to watch over. And I couldn't help think of the words of Psalm 23, which we're going to hear about just after this Euro sermon. And indeed in many parts of the Bible where it talks about the fact that God watches over us. Or in the words of Psalm 23, God is like a shepherd who watches over us, his sheep. And I find that very comforting, that the eyes of God are watching over us in all of life, at all times, during the day, during the night, during the joyful moments and the difficult moments of life, that God, like a shepherd, is watching over us, his sheep. So that's where my mind went with this Euro sermon today. Wiggly eyes, God watching over us. Oh 